You ask me I'm bad on whiny, I guess I'ma beg for me Your body looks bad on me, cause it gets wetter for me Once you beg for me, once you beg, once you beg Watch me beg for you, I'ma beg, I guess I gotta beg What is up, Halo Army? It's your boy Milo. It's your girl Hazel. And what are we doing today, Shorty? Today we are giving y'all an updated Q and A because it's just about that time. You know what I'm saying? We like to do these like every once in a while, just to keep y'all updated and yeah. give y'all the chance to ask us anything that you want. So yeah. And also, as of lately, you guys have been asking a lot of questions as opposed to where we have been. You know what I mean? Um, why we haven't been super active if you guys seen yesterday's video we kind of explained a little bit in the beginning of why we wanted to do a q a but you yeah, decided so. to prank me so <laughs> yeah so pretty much today we're going to answer questions that you guys possibly have for us we asked you guys on our instagram to ask us questions so that's where we're about to go to look at yes, questions sir. were you ever once pregnant before i don't think so <laughs> no i we mean never. I've never been pregnant before, yeah. but we've definitely had like pregnancy scares. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, oh we thought God. she was gonna be pregnant, but yeah. I don't think she's ever got. Pregnant. No, I've never actually been pregnant though. So if I yeah. was, I, mean, I would have had a baby by now. Right. But, so. <laughs> the next question is, what is your goals for 2020? Oh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Me personally, I came into 2020 with completely different goals than what I have halfway through of 2020. Course, yeah. Coming into 2020, uh, my priority was, I feel like we are, we're already secure in our life, but I wanna become even more secure. I wanna work on moving into our dream home. This is, in fact, a really nice home, but it's, it is not our forever home. Yeah. That was my goal. Just a few months into 2020, my main goal was just removing the toxicity out of my life, bro. M removing every single toxic person, and regardless of who you are, what you are, like if you're toxic, you're gone. And that was like my main goal of 2020. Amen. Um, I feel like a lot of people, like not just us, but I feel like everywhere around the world, we probably came into 2020 with a lot of goals and a lot of plans, but of course, a lot of things got in the way of that. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? There were so many things that we wanted to do, like. A goal for us personally for this year, we want Travel. to travel more. Yeah. We should really be traveling now. Like, we're young, we don't have kids. Like, this is a time for us to travel. Right. And that's something that we really were like, okay, this year we're going to travel. And sadly, like, it just didn't work out. I'm so <sighs> sad. But that was one of our goals. Yeah, another goal was just to get right with like our finances and just basically just do adult things like have to take care of the adult things that we have to take care of that we've been putting off you know what i'm saying which we're doing right now also another goal of mine that kind of just came about a few months ago was i want to start my own business which i haven't really talked about really in case you guys didn't know i guess i would just announce Go it ahead. now <laughs> no, i haven't done like an official announcement but i am starting a press on nail business and she is fired yeah i've actually been working on it for the past couple of months like it's been a while and i'm still like nowhere ready yet but that's been a goal of mine i'm super excited for that it's probably gonna be a couple more months before I get the ball rolling. I'll give it one to two. One to two more months. But yeah, it I'm should super be excited. Day. Yeah, I'm super excited though. Hazel, are you gonna post more makeup videos soon? Okay, so if you guys didn't know, I also have my own channel. I feel like a lot of y'all don't know that, but I actually do have my own personal channel called Hazel Beauty. But I haven't posted on it in like months. I'm very inconsistent on that channel. But I really do want to start being more consistent and I'm actually going to change the name probably just to Hazel. Makeup is definitely a passion, but I don't want it to be just makeup. I'm still going to do makeup related content, but it's going to be like a mix of yeah. everything. So go check out my other channel. Would you guys rather build or buy a house? Me personally, I would rather build because I feel like you get a bigger bang for your buck. I feel like you actually get what you pay for. And then when you're buying a house, you're literally paying someone else. someone else and paying them profit. They built that house for probably like one hundred fifty or two hundred thousand dollars cheaper than what you're paying. You're literally paying like a hundred grand more just because they built their vision. You feel me? So why not build your own vision and keep that extra money in your pocket? Honestly, at first I was like, 
I wouldn't mind buying a house. Like, if it's the house that I feel like fit us, I was like, what's the point of building a house if we find a house that we can just buy yeah. that is, like, we like the layout, it's big enough, you know what I'm saying? But after, like, doing research and getting more educated you on build it. that exact house with cheaper. Yeah, it's actually cheaper to build your own house, believe it or not. So, Thanks. yeah, it's definitely the move. Um, we've been wanting to build our own house for, like, the past, like, year now. It's, like, been an idea. But, like I said, we've just been taking care of some other things. So, there's a lot of things that we have to get in line before we start there. But, hopefully, it comes soon. Because I'm ready to be a wife and be a mom. <laughs> like, I'm ready to, you know. Have you ever kicked Milo out of the house after a fight? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so, no. I've never kicked him out of the house. Like, I feel like that would be extreme. But, I would never kick him out the house. Uh, honestly, if like we argue, like one of us will probably leave the house. Yeah, if I'm if out. if it's that serious and we're that mad, like if I'm that mad, I will leave myself. Or like, I will I'm, go to the gym or something. Yeah, or like we don't have to tell each other to leave. Like we already know to give each other space if it's like a really bad argument. So I don't think it's ever been to the point where I have to like kick him out or he had to like tell me to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, and at the end of the day, I feel like neither one of us have the right to kick either one of us out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, would, I, I mean, like I wouldn't do that to you. Honestly, unless like you freaking cheated on me, I'd be like, you need to go get a hotel. <laughs> or if you don't want to leave, then I will even go stay with my mom or go stay at a hotel or something. But that's like the worst case scenario if he like cheated on me or something. Yeah. But if it's an argument, but it turns serious, like I would never... Do that. So, I couldn't see myself just kicking her out like get your shit. And, I know that's what I'm saying. Unless the freaking prank you did on me, bro. I was <laughs> I was legit about to pack your bags and take that shit to Alex's house. Like, you can go stay with that else. unless yeah. it's like a situation. Like, like that's that. what I'm saying. Unless it's like something crazy, like super serious, like there's no forgiving, like then that would be different. But no, we never kicked each other out the house before. <laughs> like I said, we usually know when to give each other space. So how has your mental health changed since quarantine and how has the COVID nineteen infect affected your life? To be honest, it made me not want to film as much. Yeah. It made me not want to be on social media. And that's pretty much that's pretty much what what I was saying. It's like ever since everything started getting crazy, it's like it don't even feel right, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement. Like I didn't even feel right posting anything right. other than that. Like it still just doesn't feel right. Like just posting on the normal, like we're not affected because at the end of the day, we are all affected. Everybody is affected. Me, I just be minding my own business and I just start thinking of random stuff out of nowhere that correlates to everything that's been going on. And it'll just like put me in a dark mood. Yeah, you know honestly, I, mean? I just feel like everything that's going on is really depressing. Like, there's just so much going on in our world right now. Like, so many things. And it's just so depressing. It's like every time you go on the internet or go anywhere, like, all you see and hear are about, like, these terrible things that are happening. I mean, we need to know these things, obviously. But, I don't know. It's just been a depressing couple of months. I don't know. Honestly, we just, like, lost motivation, I would say. Like, I don't know if you can agree, but... A hundred percent. The first thing on my mind when I wake up isn't necessarily I have to film. You know what okay. I mean? It's more so me just worrying about like I just took break completely from Instagram. It was a few days in a row that I didn't even get on Instagram. I don't want to see all this stuff. I gotta find, I gotta find positive energy somewhere. It could definitely get to you, like especially yeah. if you're like a sensitive person, like me personally. Like I'm super sensitive. I feel like I'm an empath. See something negative is very easy for it to affect me, even though it doesn't specifically affect me. It still affects me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 even even if something doesn't concern you, yeah, that's what even I'm if it has nothing to do with you, even if it doesn't affect you, it still affects you mm -hmm. in some type of way. At the end of the day, this is our home. This is our country, you know what I mean? Like this is where we live. Yeah, this is our so world. It's, yeah, like this is the world. This is what the world has come to. Yeah, you feel me? So it's like you hear all these stupid things about people possibly getting chipped. Like all this weird stuff that's going on. You're just like, bro, is it really like has it really come to that? And it just puts you in a, like me, like, well, but I would say both of us are, like, really big overthinkers. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, just one little thought can strike a whole series of moods. Yeah. Mood swings and stuff. Definitely. So, so we just been, like, honestly just unmotivated. We just been in our heads, but... We're trying to get out of that. Honestly, I've been feeling a lot better lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The past few days has 
felt good to be honest yeah with you. and like like i said i'm so happy that me and him have been like actually doing really good not that we're never not that like we argue so much you know what i'm saying like we've always been good but it's just been like super super good you know yeah yeah, yeah a lot of couples a lot of couples broke during quarantine like they mm -hmm. argued every single day they got tired of being around each other but i think we were in the perfect position mm -hmm. to the point where we wasn't always around each other even when we're in the same house you're in your beauty room doing your nails i'm upstairs playing a game or in the mm -hmm. studio playing basketball yeah. or at the gym you know what i mean so it's but like i'm saying it's better like i'm thankful that, that like, we're that we're doing like so great yeah because that would have been that just makes things worse yeah you know that would have i'm just but, happy i'm just happy through all the bad stuff that's going on we had each other but yeah, so like I said, we're getting back to our no our normal selves, I feel like. We're getting back into the groove of things slowly but surely. We're not going to be going like MIA without <laughs> telling you guys a reason or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, because I understand if we post like two times a week, but bro, like, we've been posting like once every two weeks. I know. That's not acceptable, bro. I know. It's like, and yeah, it's like, yeah, I, I would even, like, I would even tell her like, damn, like, it's been two weeks. And yeah, and I'm like, like really? Like, I didn't even realize. So, we just been going through a little rough patch, but like I said, we're slowly getting back to our old selves, so... Yeah, but 100% we did not break up. <laughs> Honestly, it hurts, it hurts, it, it low-key hurt, breaks my heart that that's the first thing that you guys go to. Well, I'm not gonna say you guys, I'm gonna say some of you guys, because I can't even express the amount of people that I've seen that was like, oh no, of course they didn't break up, they're never gonna break up, they're <laughs> too strong for that, like defending us and our relationship. But it's some of you guys that actually think that every single time we go through something or go a little MIA is because we broke up. I'm here to tell you guys we are not breaking up. You feel me? I don't give a I don't give a damn what. As long as she don't cheat on me, you feel me? I know I'm not about to cheat on her. I know she's not about to cheat on me. So with that being said, I know she ain't going nowhere and I'm not going nowhere. So y'all can get that out your head. If something happens between us just know it's not us breaking up <laughs> you know what i mean just jump to a different conclusion all oh, they argued over hot dogs but we ain't argue over hot dogs no hours, so <laughs> no but honestly y'all like you guys only see a portion of our relationship like you guys just have no idea the things that me and him have been through together like it's crazy because I think about everything that we had to go through. I'm not saying this. I feel like every couple might say this. But honestly, like the things that we've been through together, any other couple would have... Folded. Oh my god, Folded yes. Already. Like no relationship is easy. Yeah. So the fact that we were able to get through so many things, like we literally been through it. Like we've been through it all. So it's like the fact that we already made it this far is like I know... From those struggles, like, we can get through anything. Like, yeah. anything else that comes our way, like, we're gonna get through it, so. Thanks. A lot of these things are people saying, y'all didn't break up, right? Or did you guys break up? Like, like that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Is everything like, okay with you guys? Literally, 90% of these questions is everything okay with you guys? Are you guys okay? Did you guys break up? Okay, guys, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. Like I said, 80% of our questions were asking if we were okay and where have we been. So, like we said, we were not doing okay for a while like we were just letting a lot of things get to us we were unmotivated we we're kind of like just depressed by just everything that's going on but we are doing a lot better now slowly but surely we're getting there so don't worry about us we are fine now but you know these are just a little rocky for a little bit but we are going to try to get back to our normal routine and i've been feeling good so hopefully we can just stay on track but thank you guys for your concern. We really appreciate it. Just know that we are okay now. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to leave a comment down below. As we will be scrolling through your comments. And liking your guys' comments. Don't forget to follow us on IG, Twitter, Snapchat. Everything will be in the description below. But as always, remember having had a little opportunity. So keep your halos. And keep your head up. Oh yeah. You know you bad, you worth it, can you give me purpose, yeah, you give me purpose, yeah. I swear you're my person, so I can't desert you, yeah. Can't desert you, yeah. yeah I hope you know you're perfect, you deserve it, girl You're the falling worth it, you're the perfect girl It's more kind of